Hi beautiful, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be reviewing new products that YSL just launched. They launched a whole new line of complexion products called New and You. <laughs> and I bought a few of the items, the ones that I thought would work for my skin type. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you everything about them. I'm going to be applying them, showing you the application process, and of course telling you whether or not I think that they are worth it. So let's go ahead and get to trying everything. I am very intrigued by this new release from YSL. So I got three things to try. I got the new Glow Balm, the new um, Bare Look Tint, and the new tone corrector in the color green because I figured my main concern would be like redness around my face and I plan on using everything together, testing it out, doing a wear test and telling you guys how I feel about it. So let's see. Besides these products, there's a mattifying primer which I skipped because I went for the moisturizing primer and also a setting spray which mainly promises to hydrate the skin and keep it dewy. So I feel like I have enough setting sprays at the moment. I also skipped that one but I am dying to try all three of these products. If you're planning on getting any of these, I am leaving you my links down below in the description box. Remember, whenever you use my links, you are helping my channel, so please use my links. They are now available at Sephora, so I'll leave you the links to Sephora and the YSL website down in the description box. Let me start reading. So this right over here is the Glow In Balm. It is a moisturizing primer with shea butter and vegetal glycerin to achieve a glowy skin look with or without makeup. It's got shea butter, which helps to soften and soothe the skin, glycerin, which helps to trap moisture and hydrate, and rosat, which is known to help illuminate the skin. Um, and then it is free of parabens, formaldehyde releasing agents, phthalates, mineral oil, and all that nasty stuff that we don't want in our makeup. Next, let's talk about the tone corrector. It is a color corrector and it comes in three different shades. The green, which is the one I got, calms redness. The golden combats dark pigmentation. And the rosy one visibly improves dull looking skin. For highlighted ingredients, it says it's formulated with verbena and vitamin E, which helps it soothe and hydrate. By the way, I just realized that I lied to you. I'm leaving you the links to everything down below, like I said, but it is not available at Sephora quite yet, only at the YSL website. Check, though, because by the time you're watching this, it might be available at Sephora. So again, I'll leave you both websites in case you have a preference, but at the moment that I'm filming this, it is not at Sephora yet. Sephora is showing the items, but it says coming soon. Okay, so last but not least, let's talk about the Bare Look Tint. It is a lightweight tint with hyaluronic acid, buildable light to medium coverage for a fresh dewy complexion. It has a light coverage and a radiant finish. It has hyaluronic acid to plump and moisturize the skin, glycerin, which helps to trap moisture, and mallow, which visibly brightens the skin. I got mine in the color New 4. Okay, so, so far from just showing you everything and swatching everything, um, everything seems to be as described except the green tint. Did you guys notice that it was white? <laughs> it has like a little bit of a greenish undertone to it, but honestly, I expected it to actually be a little bit more green than it is. So, I mean, we will definitely test it out. The reason I was interested in it and especially combining it with the tinted moisturizer type of product is because I have redness on my face. You guys can see my cheeks are red. So I thought because the tint is a light coverage, maybe the color corrector will help me a little bit in not needing to like conceal afterwards, but we shall see. Let's start by applying the primer. One thing I really liked about this priming moisturizer is that it does seem to immediately kind of blur out some pores. It feels really hydrating and it makes your skin look nice and dewy. I lowered the light a little bit to show you. You guys can see how nice and dewy my cheeks look. Next, let's go on with this color corrector, which I am so intrigued by because I want to see if it actually like helps to neutralize my redness. So I'm just going to do a little bit right here, nose, other cheek, chin. I feel like that's where I 
half the most redness and I'm going to use this 101 brush from BK Beauty to distribute it. I'm trying to keep it just in the place where the redness is because I really want to see if it truly neutralizes it. Okay, first impressions, just looking in the mirror, do I look a little bit less red? I do, but I also look pasty. Like it looks like I have a white film over my cheeks. Here it is with the lights down and as you can see, it kind of created a little bit of like texture. You can see the product settling into my pores. Check it out on this side. That's weird, right? Why would it do that? Okay, I'm trying to like rub it instead of just keeping it in place to see if something happens. Now I see that my redness is back and the product's kind of gone. Okay, so take a look right here. I don't see it the way I saw it anymore, but I also feel like my redness is fully back, so... Maybe not, maybe not, actually. It is a little bit more neutralized, I have to say. I still see it, but... I feel like not as much as right before I applied the product. I do think that helped a little bit and I'm applying a little bit more now and really working it in because being gentle created that texture so I really want to work it in this time. Okay, so the redness is more neutralized. Let's keep going. Let's move on to the tint. Okay, let's blend it. So here it is applied to half of my face. It is a light coverage. If I hadn't had the color corrector underneath, the redness on my cheeks would be bothering me a little bit, but because my cheeks were a little bit more covered, hidden, disguised by the <laughs> green primer, then the redness really doesn't come up that much. I only have the tint on this side of my face so that you guys can see kind of a before and after. It has a nice dewy finish and a very, very natural look. Again, this side only has the primer and the color corrector and then this is the side with the tint. Personal preference, I feel like my favorite types of tint to use are the ones that have a medium coverage. However, those are not the most natural looking skin tints. So for those of you who like a truly lightweight type of tinted moisturizer, something that looks extremely natural, that is undetectable on the skin, and that will give you a little bit of coverage, but you don't have any major concerns with like redness or dark spots, then this would actually be a really good tint to try. The color I chose is not terrible, but this is definitely my winter when I'm faded color. Right now it took off the color that I have on my forehead and I look very ghostly in comparison to my body because I have a little bit of a tan going, so this is like super white. Let me show you what the after looks like and then I'm dying to put on bronzer so that I can make myself match. <laughs> okay, so here we are up close and personal. I like that I don't see the redness on my cheeks too much and I really like the finish on my cheeks. It looks nice and dewy. Now, as you can probably tell, it's not sitting on my nose the best and I'm not sure why, but my nose looks a little bit textured at the moment. Honestly, from a little bit further away, you can't really tell. You can only tell like when the mirror is right here or the camera in your guys' case. But I don't know how to fix it. I went over it with the brush and then I tried to blend it with the sponge as well and it's just not sitting properly on my nose. I don't know. So far, I'm kind of eh about everything. I am going to put on bronzer and concealer and we will do a wear test to see how it wears throughout the day. So let me be right back. I'm back and as soon as I turn the camera on, I'm like, oh, I need more bronzer. But I'm not going to do more bronzer because I want you guys to be able to still see the tinted moisturizer and the products that we are reviewing today. So I'll tell you what I put on top. I wanted to put on things that wouldn't necessarily change the texture or finish of my makeup today. I went in with the Westman Atelier Contour Stick, which gave me a little bit of color, but not too too much. I also went in with the Natasha Denona Puff Paint as my blush and the Anastasia Highlighter Stick, which I am obsessed with. Then for lip liner, I used Pat McGrath Structure, the Rare Beauty Gloss in Nearly Neutral, Long Comb Concealer underneath my eyes, and then I also applied a little bit of mascara and here I am. So let me lower the light and show you what everything looks like now that I finished my makeup. Okay, here you go. I think the nose looks better now that I put that um, Westman Atelier contour stick and like blended it in. The nose looks much, much better. 
So let me give you guys a little bit of a first impression on the new, new by YSL products. The Priming moisturizer, I really like. I feel like it blurs everything very nicely. It feels cooling and hydrating and it makes your skin truly ready for the makeup application. I can't wait to test it out with other products that are favorites of mine to see how they combine because I really liked the priming moisturizer. Everything just felt so nice and blurred. I did really like that one. The color corrector did end up working. It did neutralize a little bit of my redness, but I felt like it made that happen in a very pasty way. I wish it would have neutralized the redness but not taken away from the color of my skin. Like I just looked a little bit ghostly at one point but it blended in and it did help to neutralize the redness so much so that when I went ahead and put the light coverage foundation over top of it, I didn't feel like I needed any extra coverage on my cheeks. So it did what it was supposed to do. If you have trouble with redness, this might be a good option for you. And then the tint is really nice and lightweight, light coverage, um, very, very natural looking. For some reason, it just didn't sit well on my nose at first, but now it looks better after I blended the contour on top it's weird <laughs> so those two I'm like not sure about yet again I will do a wear test today I will come back here a little bit later it is currently um, 12 20 and we will see how everything is wearing I'm going to go ahead and skip a finishing spray because like I said I just want to see how this wears kind of like on its own and then I'm skipping powder because whenever I wear my new long comb concealer that like I said when I reviewed it I am loving I don't really even feel like my under eyes crease at all it's the weirdest thing so I'm skipping powder We'll see. <laughs> I will see you guys later. Hey guys, it's 5.11, 5.12 in the afternoon right now. So it's been almost five hours and I'm here for the midday check-in. I'm recording with the front camera of my phone in my half bathroom downstairs because there's good lighting here. And I have to say, I like this more now than when I first applied it. It's weird. I'm in front of my patio door right now with natural lighting. And this is what things are looking like, as you can see. There's like no texture, everything looks super nice and smooth, the coverage is there. And like I said, I didn't put any powder on or setting spray or anything, and everything is lasting so well. Honestly, not the midday check-in I thought I was gonna do because at the beginning I was like a little iffy about it, but now I like it much more than when I first put it on. So yeah, I will see you guys a little bit later and we will determine whether or not it is worth it. Okay, it is 8.04, I've been editing the video back there and this is going to be kind of like the check-in before the last check-in. Not many changes, I don't feel super oily even though again, I did not apply any powder at all whatsoever. The skin still looks nice and dewy. I feel like I can see my pores a little bit more right now but it might be that the lighting is different but I don't feel like there's a lot of texture or anything like that. So everything is going just as well as in the previous check-in. And I'll do the last check-in and give you my final thoughts in maybe four more hours. I'm back. It's a little bit past midnight, so I made it to the 12-hour mark, almost. I'm like 10 to 15 minutes away. <laughs> um, but... I am here to tell you guys my final thoughts. I have been kind of like analyzing the makeup throughout the day and I have some thoughts. First of all, I love that because they are saving a little bit of money on packaging, this line from YSL is a much more affordable alternative to regular YSL products. All of these products are in the high 30s, around the $38 mark, which is amazing for a luxury line and much more affordable than YSL products usually are. And then as far as like how everything performed, as you can see, very long lasting i do look a little shiny now but i mean it's been 12 hours and i didn't put any powder or setting spray on plus all of the products that i chose to use were hydrating products so kind of to be expected and i don't mind it at all i feel like the products were very long lasting and I liked the coverage and the natural look of everything. I have to say, I really, really liked the priming moisturizer. And believe it or not, even though it is a 
lighter coverage that I'm used to. I did also really like the bare look tint and I think it performed amazingly everywhere. The only product that I had an issue with is the color corrector. Um, I didn't love the tone of it and besides that I feel like it created texture on my skin. I feel like the issue that I initially had around my nose was because the color corrector hadn't settled property on my skin so the color corrector I wouldn't recommend but I did really love both of these products, the primer and the bare look tint. Plus, I feel like I personally don't have any product like this one in my collection because it gives me such a nice light coverage with the most natural skin look to my skin. I really loved it. And maybe without the color corrector, I will have to like add a little bit extra to my cheeks or put a little bit of concealer over my cheeks to hide my redness, but I just really loved the way that it laid on my skin, how it lasted and how it wore all day. So that wouldn't be a problem for me. So these two, definitely a yes, go ahead, buy it. It has the green light for me. The color corrector though, I personally didn't like. So that's it, I am dying to wash my face and take a shower, so that's what I'm about to do right now. If you guys liked the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're interested in buying any of these products, don't forget to do so through the links down in the description box. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I love you so much and I hope to see you back in the next one. Bye. In case anybody's curious about how this looks after 12 hours, I'm about to do a close-up for you. <laughs> but I am kind of blotting away the excess oil with the sponge first. I'm not adding anything, I just can't be super shiny because that is all you will see. Light down. There you go. Things look nice still. 12 whole hours.